The biggest change in AI this year has just happened. Google has released Gemini 3 and it gives you the ability to do a wide range of stuff. Firstly, Gemini 3 is the most powerful AI model that's out right now. It's more powerful than Claude, it's more powerful than ChatGPT. It is the best model that's out right now. And along with that, Google has also released other stuff over here on the AI Studio platform where you can do stuff like build websites, you can build apps, um, you can use Google Gemini Tree for completely free over here as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can build a voice agent in a couple of minutes by just chatting back and forth with the app builder. And it's going to be a perfectly running AI voice agent that can answer questions for us. Now, the voice agent we're going to build in today's video is this one right here, which is for a Chinese restaurant. And this was made with completely one prompt. So here the user can chat to the Chinese restaurant. They can order their food and over here the kitchen will see all of the inbound orders taken for them. So let's have a chat with it here. Hello? Hello? Welcome to the Golden Lotus. How can I help you today? Hi, I was just wondering, do you have any restaurant items, um, which is fried rice? Yes, we have several options. We have Ying Chow fried rice for $9.50, egg fried rice for $4.50, and steamed jasmine rice for $3. Can I have a look, or can I order actually your chicken saute skewers? Certainly. Chicken saute skewers are $7.50 for four. Would you like those? Yes, please. Great. That adds $7.50 to your order. Would you like to add any other items? Yeah, can I add some stir-fried with dried chili vegetables and cashew nuts and also can i add the set a which is the one person uh, meal please i apologize i don't see a stir fry with dried chili vegetables and cashew nuts on the menu we do have kung pao which is a spicy dish with chili and peanuts and we can add vegetables yeah would please. you be can interested in that, that or yeah. set a no, actually, can I get the Kung Pao and Set A as well, please? Yes, you can. What protein would you like in your Kung Pao? Chicken, beef, pork, prawn, or tofu? Um, chicken. I can add the Kung Pao chicken for $11. Set A is $16 and includes vegetable spring rolls, sweet and sour chicken, and egg fried rice. I should mention that Kung Pao is spicy and contains peanuts. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Excellent. Your total now is $34.50. Is this for delivery or collection? It's going to be for collection. What name and phone number would you like for the collection? Uh, please put down John and the phone number is 083-314-9877. Thank you. So your order is chicken saute skewers, Kung Pao chicken, and set A for a total of $34.50 for collection by John with phone number 0833-314-987. Is that correct? Yep. Your order has been placed successfully. Your order ID is 7XFZXM. Thank you for ordering from the Golden Lotus. Goodbye. Thank you. So you can see there, we have got the order confirmed here. We have the total amount in the estimated time. We can place another order. And over here on the kitchen dashboard, over here in the kitchen dashboard, you can see we have new order here, collection, John, his number, uh, and we have an issue here. So you can see there, it was able to take our full order. It was able to add it to the kitchen dashboard. And now I'm gonna show you exactly how we can build this. Okay, so in order to build this, the first thing we need to do is come over here to googleaistudio.com. So you can see up here, it's aistudio.google.com. And this is essentially where you can use everything for free. So you can build the apps like we just seen for completely free. You can use Gemini Tree uh, for free in the chat interface. But to build the app, you're going to come over here to the build section. And we're going to click in here. And here is where we're going to put the prompt. Now in here, I'm going to tell it that we want to build a voice agent for a Chinese restaurant where people can place orders on the front end and the kitchen can see all of the new orders and the inbound orders on the back end. So in order to do that, I have a Chinese restaurant menu over here, which is just a demo menu. So I'm going to copy all of this, which is for the Golden Lotus. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to let this app know 
that we are trying to build something for that. So firstly, I'm going to put in the menu and I'm going to then say, here is the restaurant menu to a Chinese restaurant that I want you to create an AI voice agent for. This voice agent should have a user interface where people can chat to it and it will collect their orders. And on the back end, we should have a kitchen dashboard, which will allow us to see and allow the restaurant to see all of the new orders that are coming in. And um, when people are looking to place orders, you must go through the full process of asking them what they want and um, telling them the price and sounding human and being as efficient as a human uh, after they place the orders confirm with them make sure they're happy with the price and this and make sure it is for either delivery or collection let them know that they will have to pay on arrival if it's for delivery or collection and when they place their order then you will add this to the kitchen dashboard now that's the prompt that we're going to add in here i'm going to send this off and now it's basically going to build that full voice agent and that app for us that we could basically do for any restaurant that we know we can reach out to restaurants and let them know that we can set this up for them for completely free so they don't have to miss any online orders or miss any phone calls anymore which the majority of restaurants miss about 40 to 50 percent of their calls during peak hours okay so you can see that the app is finished we're going to give it access to our phone and now we have that interface where people can chat to um, and over here we have the kitchen dashboard where the kitchen can see all of the orders so if we come over here and we chat to this now again hello can I place an order for a delivery please okay so when we try to press this we are getting an error connection error please refresh so we can refresh this now and let's press it again and we are still getting the same error so we're gonna press over here you can see it allows us to just auto fix so the chat interface over here detects that there is a problem because we're getting this error over here and it's going to auto fix all of them problems for us. Okay, so after we press auto fix now, it should be working. So we can try it again over here. Hello, can I place an order for collection, please? Or for delivery, sorry, for delivery. Of course. Welcome to the Golden Lotus. What can I get started for you tonight? Um, can I order a um, Kung Pao? Do you have a Kung Pao chicken that I can order for delivery? Yes, we do have Kung Pao chicken. It's slightly spicy. Does that sound all right? Yeah, that's fine. Great. And would you like any sides or drinks with your Kung Pao chicken? Um, yeah, I'll get some chips and just a bottle of water, if you have that. We have soda cans. Unfortunately, we don't have bottled water. Would you like a soda instead? Um, no, let's just do chips. No, no, nothing else. Perfect. So that's one Kung Pao chicken and one portion of chips. Is that everything for you today? Yeah, that's everything. Your total is sixteen fifty, and it's for delivery. Payment is taken on arrival via cash or card. Does that all sound right? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, again, so we got another error. Connection is error over here. You can see we can press auto fix over here. Uh, if we check the kitchen, it didn't save any order. So the problem is now, firstly, it didn't ask me for my address when I wanted delivery. And secondly, it is getting an error. So we're going to auto fix it again. And I'm also going to say that I want to make sure that voice agent is get, taking people's addresses for delivery. Firstly, let's just press auto fix over here. It's going to fix all of them errors for us. And then I'm going to say, uh, I also want to make sure the voice agent takes the address and confirms it with the user before placing orders for delivery. Um, I don't like this model down here also, which is I don't think is useful. So I'm going to say uh, we can get rid of the chat box slash model on the voice agent screen as it is not useful. Maybe just place um, cards for each order as the user confirms it. Now, so what that should do is obviously fix the errors 
and um, it should ask for your addresses when people are looking for deliveries and also it should pop up a little card here so if i said i want kung pao chicken it should pop that up as we are talking on the call so i can continue speaking and have a look at what i've previously ordered on the call so now you can see over here it's fixing that internal error we're getting a couple of errors over here okay so all of them changes have been made so we should have a live order preview when we click here so let's test it out again hi can i place an order for spring rolls please and make that for delivery of course so one portion of vegetable spring rolls for delivery that will be five dollars and fifty cents i'll just need your full address to place the order could you tell me the address so i can confirm it yeah, my address is 123 Sesame Street. Thanks. Just to confirm, the order is for one portion of vegetable spring rolls at $5.50 to be delivered to 123 Sesame Street. Yep. Payment will be made on delivery. Does that sound right? Yeah, perfect. Great. Your order has been placed and will be delivered shortly. Thank you for ordering with the Golden Lotus. Thank you, goodbye. Okay, so it took the order, it showed us the live preview. And if we jump over here, you can see we now have the order for this person. You can see we have an order number, order ID. It's for the guest, one spring roll, and the address is 123 Sesame Street. And we can now move these around so we can start cooking where it goes into preparing, and then we can mark it as ready as you can see over here, which is perfect. So it kind of does everything we needed to do. We can place another order and make it a little bit longer. Obviously, if we were to make this production and live for a customer, we would make the website look a bit better. And obviously over here, we wouldn't give customers access to the kitchen. And in order to make them changes, I would just prompt down here to tell it that we need to obviously split that up. Actually, before we test out this voice agent, I wanted to also somehow make this look a bit neater but to include the menu somewhere so people can look at the menu as they are ordering. So I want to tell it, please come up with a creative, neat way that we can firstly make the uh, assistant screen look nicer, more presentable, uh, more modern, uh, without looking AI made with all of the gradients and stuff, make it professional and modern. Uh, but also I want people to be able to look at the menu as they are ordered. So make a neat menu style in which people can click through the menu um, as they are ordering food. Uh, the menu shouldn't just be one snapshot image as there is quite a few items on the menu. So if it's just one image, it would be pretty small and hard to, to see the individual items. So make a neat um, and intuitive way that people can look at the menu as they are ordering on the assistant screen. Okay, so we're gonna put that prompt in here and we're going to send that off and that's gonna be the last prompt that we do. We should have a good app then after this in which a Chinese restaurant could use to save them a serious amount of time. Okay, so you can see after them changes, obviously we have the menu here in which people can click through. They can still speak to the voice agent down here and we still have the kitchen menu over here so that's basically the full menu done the full build kind of done you've just seen how quickly we can make a voice agent so now let's do another test where we create a longer order hello can i place an order for delivery please certainly what would you like to order for delivery today I would like to order the vegetable spring rolls, the sesame prawn toast, the salt and pepper squid. Also for mains, I would like to order the sweet and sour Hong Kong style, uh, some black bean sauce, and I would like the house special chow mein, the chicken chow mein, and the pad thai. I've got vegetable spring rolls, sesame prawn toast, salt and pepper squid, sweet and sour Hong Kong style, some black bean sauce, house special chow mein, chicken chow mein, and pad thai. Is there anything else I can get for you? No, that's gonna be everything. Can you please provide the delivery address? Yeah, the address is 123 Long Mile Road. The delivery address is 123. Okay, so the app cut off which is obviously an error. 
so if we reload this it also didn't show the items down here in the current order so i'm going to say uh, please fix the issue where on call it should show the live items in the current order tab and also it randomly cut off mid call you can send that over and that really should be the final prompt that we have to make before this is fully um, fully ready to be used okay so it's made them changes for us and we can have a look now and check if it's working so i'm going to come back out here i'm going to chat to the voice agent hi can i place an order for delivery please certainly what would you like to order um i'd like the vegetable spring rolls and the barbecue spare ribs i would also like the sweet and sour hong kong style and just some pad thai to finish it off. Got it. So you'd like vegetable spring rolls, BBQ spare ribs, sweet and sour Hong Kong style, and pod thai. What protein would you like in your pod thai? Uh, chicken. Okay, again, another error. Uh, this is just what happens when you work with AI. But the good thing is we really haven't had to do anything. We've just given it a few prompts and we have basically a fully functional uh, voice agent will just click through here and auto fix all of these errors and within a matter of a minute we basically have a full app working okay so now all issues have been fixed supposedly is what the gemini is saying so we can try it out for the last time hi right, can i order barbecue spare ribs vegetable spring rolls and some fried rice egg fried rice actually if you can do that for me please for a delivery sure i can help with that you'd like barbecue spare ribs vegetable spring rolls and egg fried rice for delivery yeah what is the delivery address it's going to be one two three sesame street your order is barbecue spare ribs vegetable spring rolls and egg fried rice for delivery to one two three sesame street yeah actually is that I, correct can i get rid of the egg fried rice actually please Egg fried rice has been removed. Your order is barbecue spare ribs and vegetable spring rolls for a delivery to 123 Sesame Street. Yeah. Anything else? Um, actually, can you add on some pad thai with chicken? Chicken pad thai has been added to your order. So your order is barbecue spare ribs, vegetable spring rolls, and chicken pad thai for delivery to 123 Sesame Street. Would you like to place the order? Actually, the address is 124 Sesame Street. Okay, the address has been changed to 124 Sesame Street. Your order is barbecue spare ribs, vegetable spring rolls, and chicken pad thai for delivery. Yeah, can you Would you like to confirm the order? On, can you add on a fortune cookie as well, please? A fortune cookie has been added. Your order is barbecue spare ribs, vegetable spring rolls, chicken pad thai, and a fortune cookie for delivery to 124 Sesame Street. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so you can see the general idea. We were able to order. It would show up here in the order items. We could change it, we could update it, and basically build out a full voice agent that would do the full job for any Chinese restaurant. This just shows you how powerful Gemini Tree is, how quick you can build up stuff like this, which save businesses hundreds of hours and they are willing to pay you for them hours that you've saved them. Um, if you want to learn how to do this more, if you want to learn how I scaled my agency to over 100k per month, then click the first link below where you can join my free community and download all of these templates so you can start for yourself.